Dang it. Guys, we've been doing this thing called burnouts where you like go like heavy and go all the way until your arms don't work anymore. So now when we get to push ups, we can barely do a push up right now. Friendship, friendship right here. Friendship. Oh. Squeeze it, Aaron. So far. Nice, Aaron, nice. Slow, 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 slow. Oh, look at this love story. Ooh. All right, so I'm meeting Roy at ramen right now. Um, didn't shower because I have to dance later tonight, so it'd be pointless. So we got out of workout. Now we're gonna go straight to Daikikuya. Mona and Roy are waiting for me right now, and I am excited because I really have wanted ramen for a while now. Look who's here! <laughs> we're about to have ramen now at their favorite ramen spot, Daikokuya. 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 Ah, oh, yes, uh, we're just waiting. There's not a line. Usually the line, well, I guess there is kind of a line, but usually it goes out to here and around there. But, lucky today. <laughs> ramen just got here. It's delicious, delicious, delicious. Spicy, spicy. Chad. So, I'm eating. I'm so cool. Yes, Thank you so much. If you didn't know, Roy's a photographer now. He's actually starting a new channel called Photos by Roy. And uh, I, no, it's actually pineapple photos. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but he takes really good photos. Sorry. There's this giant Rubik's Cube right here. Roy, go touch it. Go touch it. Go touch the Rubik's Cube. Okay, watch. He's going to spin it. No one. Whoa! Woo! Oh my gosh, so much gains right now. Oh, oh, oh! They spin it individually, yeah. How do you have the the price the price is right thing where you gotta spin the whole thing? Anyway, so this is what it looks like, guys. I'm under it talking to you. <laughs> Whoa! Can you believe the whole thing bounced? So we're still in Little Tokyo, but now we're going to this place called Francis. Bakery. I don't know if it's Francis Bakery or Francis Bakery. You know, like Francis, the name. This place has cronuts, which was this like fad that was a year ago. But Roy really wants to try it, so we're gonna go try it. It's pretty good. Um, Monette's only gonna half like it. She only likes. She doesn't. She only likes croissants, but she doesn't like the donut. The cronut is a croissant donut. What are you expecting out of this cronut experience? <clears throat> I, I, I feel like it's gonna be like a crispy donut. It's not. Okay, but it's gonna be good, but it's gonna be crispy and donut. Okay, okay, we'll see. I'm not even gonna do you expect anything out of this? What do you expect? I like, hope it doesn't taste it. Or no, I hope that it doesn't feel like a regular donut. I don't like the texture of donuts. Mm. See, but genetically, a krona is half croissant, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. half donut, so she might feel that one. I hope that mine is a mutated one. Okay. <laughs> it's here. Yeah. Yeah. Cronuts, cronuts, cronuts. What is a cool first cronut entrance? There you go. Gotta use my knife. You know, it's, it's more fancier than a donut, so you really, 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 really gotta be delicate with this procedure. If not, you're just gonna ruin the whole experience. Okay, okay. Oh, look, it's creamy in the inside. Oh, there's cream on the inside. Oh, yeah, no, I like my cream. I love it. Look at the bottom. Bottom portion. All right. Here we go. Where's the reaction? What was it? What you expected? Okay, sorry. I'll let you think. It's good. <laughs> it's good. Okay, let me know. All right. Out of ten, how many? Ah. I'll give it eight. Five, not live. Here we go. First bite. Excuse me. How is it? Is it too donutty? Or is it too donutty? Too donutty. 
No. Donut bite. Huh. Well, huh. Mm. It is good. It's good. I forgot. Is it good? I forgot what it tastes like. Is it good? Is it good? Is it good or is it good? Guys, <laughs> good. So I had to leave Roy and Manette because they're gonna go take some cool pictures and stuff, but I have to go to the store that sells plays called Samuel French. It's probably one of the only stores in LA that has all the different classical plays, modern plays, any kind of plays you're looking for as an actor, they're gonna have it. So, note to self, if you wanna be an actor, live at Samuel French. That's where I'm heading to right now. to the bookstore right now. Um, I already called and reserved my play earlier in advance so they're gonna have it ready for me so we're not gonna have a lot of time to look around. So I gotta go home and change and get ready for dance class, so. Have a golden boy? Okay. Yep. Perfect. Time in there, ready. That was easy. Got my play. No, we gotta go back home. Note to people who have never been to LA or on the Hollywood Strip before, there's people in costumes and stuff, yes. But be careful, if you take a picture with them, they will charge you money. That's how they make their money. So they're gonna be like, oh, you owe me a dollar, you owe me two dollars. So be careful when you're taking pictures with them because that's how they make their money. And uh, they take pictures with people, so. Just warning you, because I didn't know that. I took a picture with someone once before, it was like Mickey Mouse or Minnie Mouse or something, they're like, money. So, be careful. Just got home, my plays and stuff. I'm gonna actually probably take like a five minute rest because I have to leave. 55 right now. I have to leave in like 10 minutes if I want to make it to my dance class by um, a little bit earlier, like 4:40, so I can park and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna leave in like 10 minutes. Gonna take a break now. Non-stop movement. Non-stop movement. Time to go to dance class now. Oh, twice a week. Twice a week, twice a week, twice a week. Walked in a dance class now, I'll talk to you guys right after it. Millennium dance. Here we go. Just got out, super sweaty. Super fun class. Um, it's really cool because every time there's always different people, but now that I've come more consistently, I can see some of the same people, like you met my friend Chris last week. Um, but it's pretty fun once you come, like I've been coming more consistently, so I've been able to actually, oh my god, I'm gonna get ran over. <laughs> I've been actually to like pick up better rhythms and feel less self subconscious about things I do. Um, but now I'm gonna go home. I'm, a, I'm attending a, a Side Roy concert. <laughs> this is called Side Roy. Chicken for Fala now, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Half a little bit Alright, so we just got out of Cheesecake Factory. We're actually gonna go watch a movie right now, so. Are we? Alright, let's go. Cool. I'm just kidding, we're not watching a movie tonight. But we, me and Aaron are gonna go on a date and watch a movie next week. Wait, are we really bowling? I mean, I'm dying. What's going on? Wait, are we bowling or ghost hunting? Where are we going? Don't matter. What's going on? Are we bowling or go ghost bowling, hunting? Go bowling. All right, we're going bowling. Thank you again. Oh, dude! Yeah, I really appreciate it. Oh, you're here again. Yeah. <laughs> That's our Buffalo Wild Wings guy. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Houston. Hey, Houston. Yeah. He delivered us Buffalo Wild Wings. Like, and is a fan of Roy. Yeah, he's a fan of Roy. And I was like, wait, he's familiar. 
Oh, the tip. Yeah, I gave him $100. Dang! Hey guys, just got back from Cheesecake Factory with everyone. I took a shower. Now, I'm getting ready to work on an edit, but I wanted to talk about something before I went to bed. So, you guys all know my roommate, cousin, Roy. Um, he's leaving tomorrow to actually go with his girlfriend back to Florida to go hang out for a little bit. You know, about a month. In Florida so I'm basically gonna be home with Kimmy but Roy is like my workout partner like my motivational partner we eat together we work out together we make videos and he was like my main motivation slash guiding point besides myself so this month is really gonna be a testament of me and if I can keep it up with my workouts um, everything I've been doing with my videos if I can do that and I'm gonna need your guys' help to motivate me in the comments to keep it up because I've been doing really well so when we're gone we gotta we gotta you gotta make sure I'm working out all the time which I will sometimes I really I honestly don't vlog it because I am working out and they usually don't allow cameras but sometimes I do sneak it a lot but I won't lie to you if I say I worked out in the vlog I really did work out, I promise you, I won't lie to you, but I just need you guys to make sure that I do work out and, I, and, and give me tons of shame if I say, guys, today I missed a workout, something like that. So make sure to keep me on that and make sure I'm making my vlogs and everything. But yeah, so I hope you guys have been enjoy enjoying my vlogs, you know, I, I have been, been enjoying it. I love my new camera, oh my god, so wonderful and it makes vlogging just that much more fun of an experience. Um, doing it on my phone is kind of weird because, I mean, everyone looks at me now, but on your phone, everyone feels like, I don't know, they, I feel like everyone thinks that you're, you're like singling them out for some reason, because I hold my phone like that, so everyone thinks like, why are you taking a picture of me, you know, why are you looking at me, stop looking at me, so they like freak out, but on, on this, they know I'm looking at myself, they judge me still, but it doesn't feel as weird, and I feel more... I guess the word official, it just, I just, I care less about it, especially on this camera, and everything's just so beautiful, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching my blog, my blog, this is not writing, this is Marlon, <laughs> thank you so much for watching my vlog, and you guys don't know how much it means to me that there are now almost 45,000 of you, I think almost 46,000 of you watching my vlogs and my challenges and my cooking videos and my gaming videos with my friends. Thank you for letting me just try things out and not getting mad just because I have all these different things on my channel. Because for me, I think like a channel shouldn't just be one thing. I think it's been that way on YouTube for a while that a channel is just one thing, like it's just cooking, it's just gaming. I kind of want my channel just to be me, you know, like really me. Like when you click on this Marlin channel, it's a channel about me. What do I like to do? I like to act, I like to cook, I like to game, I like to hang out with my friends. That's why I want this channel. Otherwise, I feel like if I'm forcing myself to just do challenges or just do vlogs or just do acting or cooking, then it's like it's really just one thing and I love to do all those things. So why not share all those things with you and you guys can leave feedback and tell me it's funny or tell me it's stupid or whatever. But I'm so happy I can make these videos. So thumbs up. I'll see you guys later. Tomorrow probably. Peace. Okay, definitely tomorrow. Not probably. Peace. <laughs>